Greetings dear viewers, welcome. Today's poem is Evans and Wit. This is a poem about Larry Evans and one of his witty replies. Now generally, chess players are usually associated with wit. One of the common personality traits that majority of chess players possess is wit. If you can just see their interviews or if you can just go back and watch the transcript of some of the interviews that was conducted a long time ago, uh, you can just uh, generally sense that a majority of them have some amount of wit. This is also a situation where even in a very difficult situation, Larry Evans, the US chess grandmaster, was able to exhibit his wit. The situation is this, Larry Evans and uh, Paul Benko, they are playing a blitz game. It was a tournament in Argentina in 1960. Uh, at that time, um, they have very less time on the clock and Larry Evans has just push the pawn to the last rank and is about to take the queen but the problem is that since he is running short of time he is unable to actually get the queen it's somewhere and it's he's just panicking at that time paul benko uh, tries to become a gentleman and tries to stop the clock so that he can fetch the queen and give it to larry evans but while he's about to stop the clock larry evans just beats uh, him on his hand uh, by this paul benko is enraged and he says be careful and he is about to make some kind of an advance towards Larry Evans uh, with a lot of aggression and that is when Larry Evans tells a very interesting thing a uh, very witty thing uh, he says that yes you will be famous for beating the best players in the world physically and I found this very interesting because uh, chess players and wit are usually uh, used in the same sentence so let us get into the poem this is only about that particular incident in 1960 in Argentina at the Bliss Tournament, Paul Benko and Larry Evans who were extremely competent playing a gripping end game with both almost running out of time. Larry Evans promoted his pawn resulting in a small flurry while searching for the queen in a hurry. Benko tried to help his opponent by trying to bring the clock to a halt. Evans mistook the gesture and hit Benko's hand, which Benko failed to understand. Benko shouted, be careful and made an advance, which was a normal response. Evans made a comment, which has traces of wit. You will be famous for beating all the best players. Physically, he remarked, which might have made Benko a bit awkward. I hope you like the poem. Thanks for your time.